Thick at the uh, top of the show, I mentioned a special event that we had a chance to uh, take part in this past week down at Franklin Square. And uh, this was, I believe, the sixth year that the, since the renewal has gone down. And you've been very much a big part of this. Yeah, it's a terrific event at Franklin Square, as you said, right down on Race Street and 6th. And uh, then Mayor and, and then Governor Rendell right. was involved. And it used to be really not a very nice spot. And then they made it absolutely a beautiful spot in Philadelphia. And it's a, a night at Franklin Square, an yep. evening at Franklin Square. And uh, Randy Chapman is the event yep. chairman and does such a great job. And you met all the nice people down there, yep. Amy and Michelle and all the ladies. and. Uh, Keith Jones was there, I'm under, I understand, yes, to call the inaugural Square Derby a grade one event, <laughs> if there ever was one. Deck, one of the centerpieces there is this carousel right. that has, you said, 32 horses, animals, benches, whatever. Right. Right. And uh, they asked me if I would like to come down and maybe invent or call a horse race, so mm -hmm. to speak, for the uh, first Square Derby. And our man Bruce Casello's down there with a the camera and had a chance to catch some of that action. And Franklin's falling has made a huge run for last as he tries to sweep the field. They're coming to the top of the stretch. I got Dragon is rounding up on the outside. They can't lead. Libertyville now makes a strong run for three horses. Franklin's falling is not going to fly on the inside. You have no idea how hard it was to incorporate 32 horses for two and a half minutes, but I had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was your Belmont Stakes there with uh, carousel animals, and of course, Parks is the lead sponsor yep. for the event, and uh, the carousel is the Philadelphia Park Carousel, and two of the horses on it, as people heard your call, Fleet right. Alex and Smarty Jones, and Bruce, I understand, yes. actually borrowed $100 to <laughs> buy his mount on a Fleet Alex, and he borrowed it from me, and I'm still waiting to get it back at this stage. Age, but that was the deal. Everybody put up $100 yep. to get a mount, and the winner gets their name on that mount for uh, yep. for a year, and it's uh, and you'll be back to call the second yep. annual Grade One Square, Square Derby, Derby next year, and it's generally the Thursday between the Derby right. and the Preakness. Well, Dick, as you mentioned, Parks Casino, a big sponsor right. down there. Uh, Andy Green, Bob Green were both down there, and uh, Bruce Casella's camera had a chance to catch up with those guys. Since we've been here, we've been embraced by the uh, Philadelphia community, and we wanted to put something back. And when Amy and the then uh, governor, Ed Rendell, came to us and said, we would, con would we consider it, we were delighted to do so. Uh, as I said, ever since we arrived on, this, uh, on your shores, 22 years ago we've been embraced by the local community and this is a great way of us saying thank you and putting something back. Randy there's a horse theme here tonight a carousel with Smarty Jones what's this evening like for you? Uh, it's a great evening Dick I mean this is our third year uh, being part of this uh, this evening and uh, it's very very enjoyable you know really get a lot out of it. And to see Smarty Jones on the carousel what does that do for the Chapman family? A lot of great memories you know you were there <laughs> great memories can I tell you. You know? Now they're having the square derby tonight. Keith Jones is going to call it. Are you going to buy a horse, and if so, which one? Well, if Smarty's available, I'd like to buy that. But I might be late, because I think there's some people who got in front of me. But if he's available, you know who I'm going to bet on. Well, Dick, make sure you get that $100 back, OK? I'm not optimistic. Not optimistic. Time to end our first break. We come back here on Let's Go Racing. <laughs>